Hello, it's Melinda from Scrapbooking Craft. Just coming up to have a chat and decorate my March planner page in my planner book. I've been a bit slack with sharing videos for February because I've just got really, really busy with school going back with my daughter, getting into a routine, trying to get everything done. Um, so I've decorated my pages, but I haven't actually done a video. So what I'm just going to do is a flip through for February. So I just sort of come on and do March's monthly insert that I do for my book. Oops. So I'm just covering up those holes with washi tape. Do I have scissors? Yes, I have scissors. So I've decided because it is Easter in March that March will be a whole month of Easter because it is on the Catholic calendar. My daughter goes to a Catholic school so we do have Lent leading, leading up to Easter so Lent runs for about 40 days before Easter. So I thought why not do Easter for the month long. So before I turn the camera on I did write in March in my lovely handwriting and do all my dates. And now we might put some more washi tape. So this is just washi tape from my stash that come from Spotlight. Have I got my... Sorry, I should have got everything organised before I sat down. I cleaned up my desk the other day, and my daughter and I cleaned up my desk, and we put everything in buckets um, or little plastic containers. So we've got all our... Washi tape in one bucket, or, or not all of it, but all of the water's over our desk. Um, then we've got our most recent paints that we've purchased and using in our buckets. We've got a bucket of scrap paper, which is our go-to scrap paper, which means it's not all over my desk and it's semi-organised. And the tubs are all stacked up at the end of my trestle table that I work on. So if we need something, we just pull the bucket forward and then we can push it back works out really well. So March is going to be a very busy month again. My daughter is at school. She's got school holidays at the end of March. We've got Easter. We've got birthday parties to go to. We've got oh so many things happening in Easter. We've got masses at school or church, um, church at school. She does go to a Catholic school. And then in our town over Easter, there is a big four day or three day celebration with carnival rides and Easter eggs and parades and all that sort of stuff. So they'll be filling up on our calendar. So March is a very busy month. So what I'm gonna to use to decorate this monthly spread is some stickers from an Easter activity book. You saw in one of my latest hauls. It was $2.95, $2.95, $2.95 for the book. Um, the activity is a bit beyond my daughter, she's eight. Um, we may cut some of these images out for her, for our um, journal pages or collection journals, but I did like the stickers. You've got four sheets of stickers. Um, so I'm going to use these pink backed ones today. So I thought they were kind of cool. So first I thought I'll use this big bunny. Was good value these stickers for except I'm having trouble pulling it off. Maybe I'll just have to cut it out. All our files we are going to there is a bit of space between the actual image and the sticker. That doesn't look like the sticker's been cut properly. I suppose what do you expect for $3? Um, but we can just run around. When I was looking at the stickers, I was looking at cutting some of this off because I necessarily don't like a lot of stickers with the white borders but all well, this has got pink dotty borders but it doesn't seem like the stickers cut all the way so I'll just quickly run around with scissors 
Now we should be easily be able to peel around his feet. Sorry if I'm going out of view, I have to have it a bit closer to my eyes so I can see where I'm going. Um, advantage of the wearing glasses. I have to have all those things on my nose to see. So now this should peel off perfectly. Oh, beautiful. What I've just got to do is a little bit of glue. What I found last time is the stickers didn't like to stick over the washi tape. So I'm hoping I can stick in here. I may have to cut some of it off because this is actually Easter weekend. I'll just trim some of them off. I found last time the stickers weren't actually sticking on the washi tape, so I'm just putting a bit of glue down. Doesn't that look really cute? Oops, sorry if you're getting a bit of a glare. I'll move it down a bit. It's a very hot day today, so if you hear a bit of background noise, it's just my fan going. In the background, I've also got the door open um, to let some fresh air in. So I'm wondering if I can get this next sticker off. All this next sticker is going to peel off. I've got all these Easter eggs that I want to put across the top. So let's just put a big line of glue on top of the washing tape. I'm loving this extreme Elmer's glue. I picked these up for, um, at a clearance at my local office work store oh, quite a while ago, probably prior to Christmas. And I'm on my probably last one or two. And I'll have to go see if they've got them again. They're only a dollar a stick, which is about what I like to pay for that size glue stick. Okay, that one's not going to come off. So what are all my subbies doing for Easter? Are you travelling, are you going away? In Australia we have a four day weekend and actually the Easter holidays start at the start of our um, term breaks for our school. So a lot of people do travel and go away. I'm not making any plans to travel and go away this Easter. My daughter and I will be home. There's a lot to do in our town. There's um, a three day street carnival with sort of your rides, your show bags and all that sort of stuff. There's a um, there's a second book fair which I'm excited to go and check out to see if I can locate any stuff for our art journaling. Um, they tend to have a big book sale for the three days so my daughter and I'll go check that out. Um, I'm sure she'll want to go down and do some rides and do that sort of stuff. Um, there's a parade, there's a nighttime parade which is really cool. Um, a lot of the fire trucks and people enter floats, different businesses enter floats in the parade. And then I believe there's a Monday parade, or it might be on a Sunday, I'll have to get. They changed it a few years back when Anzac Day and Easter coincided. Um, so they changed a lot of the days and things around in the parades, and I always get a bit confused. Also got some Easter projects coming up on my channel hopefully with some card making, art journaling and maybe some scrapbooking. I'm hoping to get back into my scrapbooking but I just haven't found the chance in um, month are we in? March, February. I just never found the chance. Never got organised. I've got to go print some photos. Some recent photos. I think next time I use these stickers, I'll work out all the stickers I'm going to use and I'll pre-cut them before I turn the video on. Oh, that's still sticky up the top. Because for some reason they haven't quite cut through and you just can't quite get them off. Easy. We need one more egg. Which eggy will we do? This one over here looks cute.
I'm getting there with my editing skills on YouTube. I'm actually getting a laptop in the next few days to do my editing on because my main computer does not have speakers and I've tried to get the speakers to work on it and it's an old thing and it just does not want to play ball. So we won't be editing videos on my main computer. I will be getting a laptop and doing it on that. What else do we want to put on the page? I'll just trim these bits off. No idea what I was actually going to do before I sat down. Let's put this cute little chicky on actually Easter Monday. If I can cut him out. So what I'd probably recommend is if you are purchasing stickers in the activity book, you actually check that they come off the paper and they cut properly. They're sort of cut, but they're just not. 100% cut. So Easter Monday is actually the 27th, so the 27th, uh, 28th. Yeah, it is the 28th. Okay. What else do we need? I think we need a ladybug. We never have too many ladybugs on the page, can we? Do it for stickers for this page. Stick a ladybug up here. And then again, I do say that, and then I decide I want to put another sticker on. I'm sure I'm not the only one like that. Let's put the sticker waste off the table so I am not creating lots of mess. this flower and then it will be done. What if this flower is going to peel off? No. Some things are great when you buy them at cheap shops, but I'm finding lately just the stickers are just not very, especially this pack, they just don't want to come apart. That's my monthly insert page for my journal, for my um, planner that my daughter bought me for Christmas. So what we will do is we'll go back to here, we'll fold it in half, ah oh, whoopsies, nothing I can do about it now, I forgot. I from last month I need to chop a little bit off the edges but just remove this bit of washi tape that's hanging over. Yeah I forgot last time I fold it in half first and then I had to trim some off the edges. That's right it'll hang out a bit then I'll be able to easily find it. And I've also got the back here to write extra notes on as well. Okay so making sure it's up the right way which is this way, what we will do is we'll just use some of this blue washi tape I used. I'm going to see if we can slide it under the bunny, but the bunny might be stuck. The bunny might be stuck. No, I should be able to peel the bunny off. Maybe next time I stick my monthly insert before I do my stickers. I never think of these things. I just start doing it and then go, whoops. Okay, and it's a bit long lengthwise, but it'll work out. Okay, now to get this. Now 
I've got pages sticking everywhere. Oh, really? It's going to be one of those days where things are just not going to go right. And I could have left that. If I'd stuck this in before, I could have left the rest of the bunny on the edge and it would have come over to the edge of the page. But that's all right. We will um, live with that. tired. We've had a very hot night last night and I'm a bit sleep deprived. We're just going to have to do that this time. And then that's going to stick out. That's right. I'll just fold it in thirds and it will look like we're meant to do that. So there are mistakes in scrapbooking and planning. You just change your idea of what you're going to do. There we go. Beautiful. All closes up. <laughs> this book's going to get a bit bulky, but that's okay. Whoops, I might leave that undone while we wait for the bully to dry. Thank you for sitting down and having a bit of a chat with me and watching me cut some stickers out and stick some stickers on. And I'll catch up with you again. <laughs> Bye for now.